Hello everybody, quite a lot I don't publish anything. But this time is not for a software or a game, but for a new hardware which came in. A laptop with the newest RTX 30 series GPU, that is the RTX 3070 Max-P, also known as Max Performance, 125 watts full power, plus additionally plus 15 watts Dynamic Boost 2.0, in case CPU is not doing much. We'll see in another video how that works on games like Team Fortress 2, Overwatch, Minecraft RTX and 3D Mark V Strike Extreme. As you can see, laptop is very very thin, 2 cm thick, yet so powerful. It's named Yonico 17, if the system integrator is PC specialist and you get it in Europe. It's called Max 17 if it comes from electronics US based. The latter offers also Ryzen 4000 and 5000 options, but the RTX 3070 is paired with Intel, as like as you are seeing here. Note it's a USB-C with DisplayPort 1.4 delivery, but not Thunderbolt, despite being an Intel. This because the ODM Tongfunk chip out in the Thunderbolt license. Next version of this likely will offer Tiger Lake 45H processor, the 8 core 10 nanometers with Thunderbolt 4, that will surely have Thunderbolt back. Other than that, plenty of connections, HDMI 2.1, all external video outputs are straight connected to the NVIDIA GPU, so good for your VR needs. Screen is 2560 by 1440p resolution, 175Hz, no G-Sync, but almost full as RGB coverage. It's a very good screen in person, and I can say it's very capable, also in case of downscaling 1080p. I barely can see the difference versus a native 1080. You might have noted I'm still keeping all the plastic covers on the laptop, that's because I'm still deciding if keeping it or returning. It's a great machine, but as you'll see in a moment, PC specialist after sending some to the world perfectly featured, made the bad decision to offer a new BIOS version to this machine, which mine received upon final testing, and this revision locked out the chance of using the MUX, the multiplexer. It's all Nvidia Optimus or nothing. Beware, this laptop does have a MUX. By using previous January BIOS it works perfectly, but only a bunch of people could receive the hassle-free BIOS. I'm not that lucky, but I am in contact with them to either receive a way to flash a good BIOS, be the first issue or a brand new one, or returning the thing. Because my money was spent also to include a MUX in the bill of materials of this puppy, and I won't let a simple BIOS lock came after some shipments of the same PCS laptop procured to stop me by using a MUX. If you are interested in what can change when your DGPU commands directly the internal screen versus being channeled through the internal graphics, that is NVIDIA Optimus, check the video of Blob of All Trades I'm linking in the description, you can lose up to 70-80 FPS in eSport titles, and I won't let that happen. You can see all the features of the new control center, even though some are bugged out and not working as intended. For example, voltage control does nothing, and you better use reliable tools like throttle stop for that. Also, all the power limits, temporary PL2, long term PL1, aren't very well worked in this control center. Sometimes they do, but I found throttle stop the go to for settings like those. A good feature of the new control center is the battery preservation. If you keep the laptop at the wall most of the times, it lowers charge voltage and does not kick in immediately the recharging, a godsend to avoid unnecessary battery wearing. Keyboard has 4 zone RGB, nice lighting, but I like more its tactile sensation, a very good keyboard to write with, more than its lighting combinations. 
Pity that Tong Funk is reusing the same keyboard of the 15 inch size laptop, so we lose a numpad column. But I have reassigned some keys to other functions, like home in the numpad plus key, etc. Plenty of keyboard utilities do that in Windows, for example, key tweak. Incredibly, Tong Funks allow memory overclocking if you know what you are doing. I won't touch anything, as XMP Profiles isn't offered and you have to input every single parameter by trial and error, I guess. I'm still astonished this is offered, while the Max has been disabled. Hope that's being sorted out. I'll let you know in a future comment of this video. About the Max, this is the BIOS I have, and you'll see it lacks the GPU only setting, the only one usable here. Shown here is another Ionico, just delivered a few days before mine, with the January BIOS and having its Max unlocked, as usual. Ok, so that's all. In a following video I'm making, you'll see how it fares against some games, and I'll let you show how good it can be controlling power levels of the CPU and tricking the dynamic boost of the Nvidia to turn it onto the max. Stay tuned, guys, and thanks for watching.